Of course, I get rigged up and he's gone. <laughs> Come here, come here, get up here. Get up, go. Hey, come here, come here. Go in, in. Go to, in. Now that's what you call sight fishing. Move, go Coda. Coda. That is what you call sight fishing, my friends. Woo! Back up. Red worms, baby. Red worms. <laughs> I get a picture of you, bud. <clears throat> Gotta love them. Red worms. There you go, bud. Woo! Me are nasty. But I like them. Alright, y'all. I'm going to try something a little different today. Uh, that totally gave me inspiration. I wanted, instead of catfishing, well, I'm going to do a little catfishing, but I want to do some sight fishing. And uh, it's not like springtime where you just throw it on the bed and jiggle it around and get them all ticked off and they bite it. This is like mid to late summer, so you got to entice them to bite it. So we'll see how this goes. I've never done it before, but it looked like it was fun, so we're going to try it. It's hard to see with the waves, but I had him. Yeah. Oh, we got five bass here. Coda, stay here. Coda, stay here. <laughs> that copperhead keeps going after my lure. This copperhead, right? There. It's like totally in the rocks there. Let's try and get him to bite it again. Alright, coming up on him. Oh! He's biting. He's got the tail. Woo! Got a snake. <laughs> got a copperhead. <laughs> Now what? He ain't letting go either. Boy, he does not want to let go. Let those suckers bite you. Let go of my lure. Dude. Let go of my lure. Come on now. That is crazy. You'd think you could let go. I'm going to have to throw you in the water, I guess. Oh, there you go.
I think I'll leave him alone. I go somewhere else. <laughs> Shit. Let go. What the hell happened to you, buddy? The bird's been eating on you. That's a nice bass right there. All right, Worm. Time to replace you. You caught one good one, but time for you to retire, and they don't care. I'm barely gonna fit. I really need a smaller hook. Baby. <clears throat> He's little. some blips little baby oh well, look at his tail somebody beat the crap out of him look at that something tried to eat him put you back you're having a bad day aren't you I just saw one go behind that tree. Dakota, come here. Dakota, Dakota, come here. Oh shoot! <laughs> he grabbed it. There you know. You find you a nice spot, Coda. That looks pretty good. You got enough room in there for me? That would be a no. Sight fishing. Oh shit, he broke my line. Move, cut it. Move, move, move. Cut it. Ah. 
Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> See him, toss to him, catch him. Nice. Snap my line like nothing though. Hey right, buddy. That's how you fish. <laughs> You know, you know I'm full of it. Oh, Ooh, yeah, I'm cooked. Mm. And water's hot. Ugh. Well, that was pretty cool. I did not expect uh, to do uh, sight fishing today. I just thought I would bring a pole. And uh, if I saw a bass, I'd toss it and see. Oh, there's... Spot, spots up here. Still looking for bass. It's like a freaking addiction. Anyway, side fishing from the bank. Uh, totally not the way I expected to spend my day. Um, last couple of weeks I've just been seeing these bass go up and down. The shoreline, up and down, up and down. So I thought today I'm going to bring a rod and play with them and then uh, I got that first bass saw him inhale the worm and uh, that was it from that moment on I was I knew I was just going to spend the day looking for bass <laughs> so that's what I did walked up and down the shoreline looking for bass uh, came across quite a few uh, got a couple I mean I didn't get skunked it was good I mean I don't think I did bad for my first time totally two guy right here I mean, first time doing it ever, so I don't think I did too bad. I got a lot to learn. But. It's like there was a one school, it was about six, six bass, probably about like that, just swimming along the shore, and I wasn't really sure where to toss it because they were all over the place. So I just kind of tossed it in the center because I didn't know, and they went, Poof! they scattered. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that wasn't the right thing to do. So, any of you guys who bass fish or sight fish, like during late summer, not spring, because I know spring can just throw it on the bed and aggravate the crap out of them and they'll bite it, but during the summertime, if you guys do uh, sight fishing, what the heck do you do when you see a school coming down the shoreline? Where do you toss it? Definitely not in the center. <laughs> I know that. But, uh,. The other ones I caught, uh, it was it was kind of weird because some I could throw it like three feet in ahead of them and they would uh, come up and you know they would chase it down, and then others I would throw it three feet ahead of them and they would take off running, you know, or swimming. And then some I did five feet, so I don't know. I'm still learning, but uh, it was totally a blast. I had a blast today. I will definitely be doing it more often. It's going to be probably competing with my catfishing. Because it's fun. It is totally fun. Like hunt them down. Jiggle it in front of them. Are they going to bite it or are they not going to bite it? And then you don't even... They just <laughs> inhale it. And you're like... Oh. Alright guys, I'm hot, I'm delirious, I gotta go eat. Thanks for watching everybody, tight lines, till next week. Ooh, it's hot. Alright. Alright, so the story of the red worms. A friend of mine was going into town and they asked me if I needed anything. And you know, it's about an hour into town, so I said yeah, pick me up some red worms. Because, you know, I catch a bluegill and flathead, you know, do some cat fishing and whatnot. <laughs> they went to the tackle shop, 
and it was a bunch of fishermen and the shop owner all huddled around talking about these red worms that they had to drive into the next town to get. And uh, <laughs> so <laughs> she picked me up red worms. <laughs> Oh, sh <laughs> that sucks. It's okay. I just don't want you right here. I just don't want you right here. <laughs> <laughs>